Hello everyone, um, today I'll be talking about coral reefs and their destruction in the modern society. Uh, my name is Siever Lilly, so let's hop right into it. At this time in the world, corals are really struggling. Um, climate change is having a serious impact on them, uh, killing off a large portion of the coral reefs. Um, and some other direct factors are also involved, like bleaching, poaching, and unregulated harvesting rules. Um, some of the only coral reefs left are located in the Florida Keys and the Great Barrier Reef off the coast of Australia. Those are the two major ones that are left in the world. And they are also slowly dying. Um, this is a serious issue. To understand what's going on with the coral reefs, we first need to know what actually is a coral reef. Uh, a coral reef is made up of corals, and corals are made up of polyps, which are anemone-like organisms uh, that can range in size. Um, the two photos that you see on screen, the one on the left, are polyps from what's called a leather coral. Um, each individual anemone-looking organism is a polyp, and it makes up the overall structure, and this is a soft coral. It has no hard shell. The one on the right is called the candy cane coral, and each one of those green-looking shapes on the end are the actual polyps, um, and this is a much larger type of polyp, and so they range in size, and that's what makes up a coral. When thinking about what kills coral, um, a couple things come to mind. The first thing would be bleaching. Now, for those of you who don't know what bleaching is, bleaching is the slow killing of the coral polyps due to a difference in the a sudden difference in the temperature of the water. Um, corals are very, very fragile, and they are very sensitive to slight changes in the water. So any sudden change could potentially give them this disease, which is called bleaching, and this leads to killing. A result of that could be seen on the right photo. That is a bleached coral. So around the world, um, many different coral reefs have been affected, ranging from coral reefs of North America to Asia, um, Australia, and many other coral reefs. Um, 75% of them are threatened. This does not mean that they are dead, but they are on the verge of dying, and it's a very real possibility. Um, and NASA has been monitoring uh, coral reefs around the world using their satellites, and they have noticed a decline in coral sizes and also coloration. On the side, we have four different types of corals, uh, Acropora, Poritidae, Agaracidae, and Motostria annularis. Um, all of them have taken noticeable declines in percent of coverage in reefs ranging from Bonaire to Florida Keys, Curacao, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, um, especially Acropora. It's a very uh, touchy coral. It does not like major changes in it. It can be seen having a noticeable drop around 1998 in coverage in the Florida Keys. Um, in all other areas, it's been struggling since around the 80s as well. To fix the issues that we're noticing, um, some of them have easy fixes, others don't. Specifically, climate change. Climate change is the major issue that we are facing as a society today. Due to the exponential growth that humanity has had, we're just putting out way more green green, gra green gases than we did, excuse me, um, in past. And that's just really depleting our ozone layer and increasing water temperatures, um, which in turn is going to be killing off a lot of these corals. So to wrap things up, coral reefs are extremely important in today's society. They're, they provide an economic stat, economic bonus to certain regions for having their tourism, um, for diving and snorkeling, and also fishing. Um, and they also provide food and medicines for certain areas, especially in the islands of Asia and the Pacific. Um, and they're overall just very, very beautiful. They're just the natural wonders of the world, and it'd be a real shame to lose them. 
So to wrap this up, coral reefs are absolutely beautiful. They're gorgeous, and it'd just be a disaster to lose them. A real shame. Not only that, but also they provide natural resources for certain parts of the world, like food and also money from tourism. So they're very, very important to some people.